Welcome to the Secus NVR VisoGuard video tutorial. We're going to learn how to install VisoGuard on your computer. More specifically, we're going to learn how to configure the basics with Secus Wizard. It includes a NAS name, IP address, and admin password. We also will have to upgrade your firmware, create a RAID, and finally start Secus VisoGuard. No specific knowledge is required, however, you will need some hardware a Secus NVR plugin local network and switch town, and a connected computer with already installed a Secus Wizard, Java, and an internet browser. Let's get started with Secus Wizard. I need first to start Secus Wizard. Sometimes antivirus will display a message since the software is scanning for the whole network looking for. NVR or NAS from Sikus, it's perfectly normal. I will use this NVR42 for this tutorial. I select it from the list, then I click on Next. I enter the admin password, which is by default admin. Then Next. After I can set every network configuration item, such as the host name, I'm going to change from NVR42 to Tutorial, for instance. If my local network provides DHCP server, I can select it here. But for this tutorial, I will stick with fixed IP. The final step is entering a new password. It's recommended to use a strong password since it's going to allow the user to enable every function of your NAS or NVR. I click on N, everything is OK, and that's it. My NAS is configured and I can start browsing in, in my favorite internet browser. So I click on Start Browser. And here is the login screen. So for VisoGuard NPR, I will log in into admin using the password that's defined just before. Two choice. Either my NVR is up to date and I need to start creating a RAID, or my firmware is a bit old and I found a new one on Secure's website. So I just type upgrade on the search menu here and I will pick the new firmware file from my hard disk, then click on Apply. The upgrade process can take up to 10 minutes and needs the NVR to restart. If my NVR is up to date, I need now to create a RAID to start storing data. Just type RAID on the search menu. And I'm creating here. In this tutorial, we only got one disk with limited RAID capacity. I click here to select it, and if I want to add more disks to the RAID volume, I just need to click here, here, or here. Since we only got one hard disk, I can just select this RAID logo. To know more about RAID logo, we invite you to consult our website www.thickers.com to check the online documentation. I can check here several parameters about my RAID, but for the tutorial, we won't need any of them. An important step here, the data percentage, I want to allow to video surveillance and pure data storage. Since your NVR can also be used for simple field sharing, you can, for instance, divide your RAID volume half for data storage and half for video surveillance. Since this NVR is totally dedicated to video surveillance, I will slide the small button here to 1%. I click on the next one. Here are all the information. I check if everything is correct, then submit to start the RAID creation. OK. So the actual time was about 3 minutes. Now I can see my new red volume, which is occupied mostly by the VisoGuard data. Something new appeared here, the small VisoGuard icon. Let's click on it. OK. And this computer got Java installed, so I'm arriving to this page. If you don't have Java environment, we recommend you to download it on the Java website. I select my language, I got the choice among 
almost 20 different languages and the start button. I'm going to start with a Visual Guard client from the web start. But if for instance I don't want to use my browser anymore to start Visual Guard, I can install the client on my PC. It's only working on Windows. I click on Open with Java, then OK, and wait for Visual Guard to start. The first start can be a bit longer than usual, but it's perfectly normal. OK, I can find my license key number on the CD provided inside your last package. For this tutorial, I will continue in licenseless mode. This allows me to use the NVR VisoGuard software for a limited amount of time and with only one camera. I use my admin login and admin password I've defined a bit earlier. And that's it. My Circus VisoGuard solution is now installed and ready to start. Thank you for watching this tu video tutorial. I invite you to see the next one on our YouTube channel or check our website for more information www.sickers.com